good afternoon dear students today uh, we are going to start the next lecture fifth one on indigenous knowledge in food process technology here you can see uh, very interesting pictures and i think you are you all are familiar with these pictures so today we are going to discuss the uh, theories and uh, the practices they used to develop this type of food products i think those foods are still very popular among the market so last week we have discussed some uh, osmotic dehydrated food products salted drying and smoke drying their advantages and also disadvantages we have discussed <coughs> right uh, so first of all i am going to move to the fermented food products so fermented food products are very popular among all age categories so you know uh, <clears throat> as an example yogurts are available and wine like products and some uh, sauerkraut like uh, <clears throat> sort of vegetarian products toddy <clears throat> and uh, uh, some uh, milk based food food products fermented food products are available so they are very popular among all age categories and curd like products so uh, fermentation is very important and it is a, a very indigenous one so uh, so many indigenous practices technologies are available still we are using those techniques yeah, nowadays also you can see yeah, in some illegal ethanol production are going on when we stop when we close the restaurants and all then the people will start um alcohol production neither by using their indigenous knowledge that is the knowledge is there right so the fermentation is very important so fermentation means a sets of microbiological reactions so there should be a substitute and there are some micro uh, microbes so uh, wild microbes are available and also if not we can add uh, some microbes uh, as a Uh, as an additive so uh, and some environmental conditions are there such as temperature ph like very important uh, uh, parameters so to maintain these things uh, we have indigenous knowledge right and basically carb raw materials are carbohydrates so you know wine is one of the very uh, important very popular fermented food products so we use uh, grapes as a uh, carbohydrate starchy material right so uh, the the critical conditions are the raw materials microbes and environmental conditions and uh, even in uh, you also have some practicals in our laboratory so uh, carbohydrate source is very important and uh, i am not going to explain this mechanism in detail because uh, you have another course module regarding this fermented food products so i just wanted to explain the indigenous practices and technologies they had right so uh, actually the fermentation is a good preservation method so you know when it comes to uh, kitul uh, sap or coconut sap so we can, we can't preserve it for a long time periods so basically it's around Six hours, so uh, maybe one to six hours. So after that, the quality will change. But a fermented food products, vinegar, and also toddy, also somewhat we can keep around few hours. And when it comes to milk, dairy, so you know we can't keep fresh milk for a long time. But curd we can preserve up to some days, and in yogurt we can preserve it. so preservation techniques are there right and uh, also we have very good sensory attributes so uh, rather than having the raw mat raw food we can have a, we can experience a good flavor as an example you know the taste of grapes and the taste of wine and you know the taste of uh, uh, dairy and the taste of yogurts right sensor properties are good and extended shelf life these are the advantages so you can read 
and here you can see some uh, fermented food products curd yogurts and bakery products also available we use yeast uh, for such bakery products and uh, coconut tapping and here also you can see uh, dairy and such snacks right offers so toddy is very important i think i hope that uh, you will visit the uh, toddy plant for another course module and uh, it's uh, there are several types of toddy available coconut toddy palmyra toddy kithul toddy and uh, they are seen for, so tap, by tapping the inflorescences so we have uh, in general we know we, there is a flower we call it as inflorescence right tapping means we have to we there are so many traditional techniques to uh, tap in tapping right in this inflorescence and the maturity stage also very important right so uh, we can't do this tapping there are some indigenous people right so what we have to do is by studying the, their techniques we can develop our own uh, new technologies maybe equipments and machines and some uh, chemicals likewise uh, the important importance of the studying such course modules is to extract their indigenous knowledge and convert it into uh, modern techniques by using the technologies are available right it's a carbohydrate rich solvent so when you consume the sap right after uh, tapping there is a sap so uh, it is actually a sweet one we call it as sweet toddy right sweet toddy and you can see the sugar percentage it's around 10 to 16 in palmyra so therefore it is a sweet one right so before tapping the toddy the flower must be beaten for few days right beaten procedure is there right the ph you can see it's somewhat uh, neutral ph 6.5 to 7 color colorless so very light color i hope you all know the texture and the color and the taste of the toddy right in here we have boys also so if not we can have i will bring some bottles then we can taste it right and sap and the toddy right sap it's more sweeter then after fermentation that as we discussed um, sensorial properties will change so when it comes to toddy sweet flavor getting it get get reduced and there is alcohol flavor right and the micro micro is uh, saccharomyces cerevisiae is type of wild yeast then you can uh, read these things and we have fructose and sucrose in uh, this sap that's why it is more sweet you know the sugar percentage and it will it will change into alcohol right it will change into alcohol so sugar converts into alcohol uh, and carbon dioxide so there that's the reaction and uh, the maximum level they can bear the maximum alcohol level up to 15 right but in the when it comes to toddy so maximum alcohol percentage is around 4 to 6 right that's why we need to consume at least one bottle to get the feeling need alcohol percentage is around 4 to 6 right this is the toddy tapping box uh, indigenous equipments are available here so uh, <coughs> you will be able to see these things and experience these things at your field visit there is a knife and uh, tweezers like there are different equipments and tools uh, they used to uh, they used for tapping right you can see the texture of toddy it's a uh, somewhat a lighter color and the nutrition composition also very important uh, you can see the alcohol percentage is around 5 right it's not exceeding in in pure uh, toddy but 
in some uh, industries they are adding some uh, adulterants like some disprene you can see they are adding disprene like chemicals to increase the alcohol percentage right and the acidity it's around uh, somewhat around 0.4 sucrose you know here the sucrose amount around 1% but in the sap you know it's around 6 7 sometimes it's up to 12% right so it has been reduced and fat it's not there around 0 0.04 it means it's, there is no fat protein around 0.2 and ash 0.2 right so you can see it's a nutritious drink but uh, limit is very important right you have to have the limit neither and uh, you can see uh, the uh, alcohol percentage of uh, uh, palmyra sub treated with different uh, inhibitory substances right you know uh, in indigenous process so we will discuss uh, it later but in this graph you can see uh, they put some uh, plant materials to the to that pot right we we use a pot to collect the sap so uh, some uh, plant materials we are adding to that pot to control the fermentation right suppose uh, he or she wanted to get toddy or trickle so we, if we are going to produce trickle, so we have to stop the fermentation. So that's why they use this type of, they used to use this type of plant materials. And here, uh, this study has been conducted in the Palmyra Research Institute, right? You can see they have used different plant materials, right? Hull, lime, cohomba, uh, like uh, plant materials they have used. And you can see how the alcohol percentage is change right in control one you can see the blue color and uh, when we add hull you can see how it has been decreased right alcohol percentage has been decreased with the time so basically they are adding hull uh, box hull box pieces of hull box inside the pot we use to collect the sap then we can control the fermentation so it means we can use the sap for uh, produce sap to produce trickle or jaggery right but we can't use the, such uh, sap to produce toddy or vinegar right if we are going to produce vinegar then here you can see the alcohol percentage has been how it is changing so blue color is controlled and when we add the uh, Kakata. I, I, I can't, I don't know the, the name of this plant. So you can see how it has been increased. So we can use this type of bark, so plant materials to convert the sap into toddy or uh, vinegar. And here it's about the pH value. You can see how it has been changed. One of my students in your senior batch has also conducted very interesting study regarding Palmyra toddy. She has conducted that study in uh, Palmyra Research Institute, same place. So it was a very marvelous study. So uh, uh, I was a supervisor and he, she, he, she has conducted the study with how to change the off flavor of toddy, right? You know, there is a very, uh, some, uh, some people they like, but especially ladies, they don't like made. So uh, how to change that uh, flavor, right? So there are some studies. Then when it comes to vinegar, it is a popular one. Vinegar, you know what is vinegar. So vinegar means a complete fermentation, right? We use sweet toddy. Uh, then Saccharomyces cerevisiae help to convert this uh, sugar and, uh, the, and the sucrose and fructose to convert into toddy. It means alcohol. Then there is a further fermentation, right? When you keep the toddy for a few days, then there is an aerobic reaction and the microbes are acetobacter and gluconobacter. As a result of these two, uh, as a result of the 
activity of these two types of uh, wild microbes microbes so it will automatically change into vinegar so vinegar means acetic acid right then the same raw material you can develop different types of food products right fermented food products and non fermented food products right then you can see the applications and ph it's somewhat acidic one because there is acidic acid so the ph is around somewhat acidic range 4 to 6 and we use vinegar for uh, as a food additive as a food preservative a flavor enhancer and pickle making it's one of the very common uh, food ingredient especially in these days of uh, festival time we need to use vinegar right there are two types of vinegar available in the market artificial vinegar and natural vinegar so how to develop natural vinegar our ancient people they have they had that indigenous techniques uh we uh, we have inflorescence we have the flower kitul coconut or uh, palmyra then there is a tapping process then sweet toddy we can collect it is actually the raw basic raw material then automatically sweet toddy convert into toddy uh, as a result of uh, saccharomyces cerevisiae so we after keep for few days another few days then it will convert into vinegar and uh, responsible microbes are acetobacter and gluconobacter and you know the sweet toddy the ph is around somewhat neutral again toddy is somewhat neutral but convert into vinegar the ph is around some acidic level right here you can read how to uh, prepare vinegar i am not going to explain so coconut vinegar is also good base for vinegar coconut water we can use coconut water and coconut sap right so there is a different difference so uh, if it is a coconut sap uh, the sugar level is more higher but if it is, if we are going to use coconut water the sugar content is low so then we need to add some extra sugar to provide the Uh, to provide the raw materials and food for those for those bacteria ne for those sorry not bacteria for, for those microbes microbes so if not it is very slow process because they don't have much foods it means no sugar so we have to add some extra sugar when we use coconut water in producing vinegar right Have you heard about the caldera? Caldera, ogolo halati caldera magi bile na magi la baino ogolo ogolo ngari ka katya baino halati rone caldera magi, right? I have taken this photo from one book. I can't remember the name of that book. It's a single one, so uh, you can see the caldera, right? Here we uh, use some. Uh, mixture right to hold that no kasipu padana prameda meti in right it's actually a, a traditional indigenous technology they have used in sri lanka right right here mixture is there so uh, you know now it's a fermented mixture right maybe toddy and you know uh, they have they prepared this uh, goda mixture ne? we call it as goda right by using yeast and sugar and some fruits sometimes they use some herbs medicines right the village people and even in now uh, the urban areas they are also developing this thing in domestically right so we use, use the fermented mixture here and heat the mixture then you know the boiling point of methanol and ethanol the gas will move through this tube clay tube then here uh, nowadays uh, in currently they are using a lead coil lead coil here but in uh, indigenous technologies they have used a clay tube right 
through this creative you know automatically as a result of this clay it will get, it uh, the, the, the gas will get it cool and in this end you can collect the ethanol output right then you can consume this here you can see me daranda dalla dandu upakarane upayog kota gena prabala madhyasaraya rakku ita pasin rahewat polgasin laba ganna passive usein laba gane it means the fermented liquid is there right toddy or whatever the fermented liquid nowadays the people they used to use some uh, pottamali like healthy uh, raw materials to this end then we heat it then the gas will move to from this end to this end then here you can collect the liquid or the alcohol but the problem is here you know uh, methanol and ethanol two types of alcohols are there the methanol the boiling temperature is around 64 then when we start this this process initially the first at the, at first you can collect methanol so that is why the temperature control is very important if not the alcohol will get it will convert as a toxic liquid right ogolo ahalati samara news alata ehema meya bila aspu puranawa marenawa as anda wenawa likewise there are so many toxic effects if we consume methanol so the indigenous knowledge is very important to control a methanol production you know they used to uh, burn this liquid right egolo me athata aragena binduwa burn karala balano kala eka right suwanda balano anne ehema karala they used to control the quality of this ethanol output right so when we are developing this type of equipments indigenous knowledge is very important to control or avoid methanol production and to control the temperature right then uh, we are moving to tul honey and jaggery so as we discussed this is a type of non fermented food product right using the same ingredients same sap but non fermented products here we can use ankend like leaves or calcium carbonate or ahala ati the indigenous people they put ankend leaves and hull like bark and so calcium carbonate it means hunu api bulak titra kana hunu thamai calcium carbonate eva danawa ara sap eka collect karana pot ekata to avoid to stop to prevent further fermentation right side like the knowledge is very interesting they they have conducted so many research activities and found the found their knowledge right that's why indigenous knowledge is very important and this is type of a concentrated liquid you know how to prepare jaggery so we boil it further then you, you you can see the color change from here to here and at the end of the day if we remove all the water then we can get jagger if not we can get honey or trickle and uh, bricks you know the brick value of uh, the initial liquid sap the sugar percentage is around 15 so the bricks is around 10 to 15 and now when it comes to honey and jug honey the bricks level is 60 to 65 you can see the change the amount of water removed right and the concentration right all these things you can understand by using these two values the initial bricks 10 to 15 at the end of the day end of this process it's around 6 to 65 so it means it a highly concentrated liquid liquid right and the type of firewood right basically we use firewood right to prepare this type of honey and jaggery they 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 don't have gas burners or some electrical burners those days therefore they use uh, used firewood as the energy source so type of firewood also very important right if not it will change the texture uh, change the sensorial qualities right 
and uh, you know the kolapotha pani mula like words you have you may heard it's actually a the indigenous preservation method because they don't have glass bottles and containers uh, the modern container so they have used kolapotha you know it's a uh, it's a very common one you all know what is kolapotha they have uh, changed the its shape and develop the pani mula right okay and jaggery means sugar crystals if it is a pure kitul or any jaggery you can see crystals it's the texture is like a uh, crystal texture right but they are but nowadays adulteration is there they use so many sugar with uh, around 80% sugar 20% of kitullo palmyra or coconut so therefore the quality is very low it is so hard but if it is a type of uh, uh, high quality one first class uh, one so the texture is somewhat uh, different crystal texture is there uh, it's the taste of taste also very good right and these are the um, regulations regarding the jaggery and trickle manufacturing so i i hope that we have discussed some rules and regulations <clears throat> under the food safety and reg regulations so there is a regulation for trickle and uh, jaggery so you you can see if it is a type of trickle uh, the moisture is uh, 30 Or lash, everything is there, right? Acidity, everything is there, and you can compare it with jaggery. So the moisture is ten, right? Likewise, and uh, polarization value, everything is there, right? So standards are there, but uh, we had very interesting. We had very good uh, technologies in developing such food product, and still we are using those techniques. and curd is another very important one it's very commonly available uh, food and here we use lactobacillus bulgaricus the micro right initially i am not going to explain this further because you have you know everyone you know this uh, how to prepare curd and the raw materials everything you know and the ph value is type little bit acidic one uh, and uh, we use the fresh fresh milk can heat it up and filter and add the microbe and let it to let it to around 24 hours then you can get curd right and we, and uh, in the, in uh, trad traditionally we use clay pots right and we can't reuse it right because there is a microbial microbial action uh, activity so we are not going to reuse these pots right we can't reuse it and there are so many milk based fermented food products are available in the market right yogurt probiotics ghee gitel nuntel like products are available right so that so that's about the uh, uh fermented food products and some kitul and kokitul coconut tan uh, palmyra based food products so uh, so many indigenous knowledge and practices are there so those things are very important to study so you can do so many research activities and develop and do innovations right so uh, you know the tapping is very uh, big problem in sri lanka nowadays uh, because the indigenous people they uh, and traditional people uh, they don't have and the current and the, our young young people those who are leaving schools they are not going to engage with this industry so we have to convert it into a professional industry so when it comes to a professional industry technology should be there so then we can identify the processes and disadvantages and advantages and limitations everything then we can add the value for this uh, process 
right so i i hope that you have get something so please uh, go through this practices and knowledge and please collect the details about these things and uh, try to do something new right so uh, we will discuss some other food products later so hope uh, you can collect some details from your area from your village and you have uh, some in traditional people so you you can have a chat with them and get their experience right so thank you very much then uh, we can we have uh, three more lectures so we can discuss other parts later so thank you very much